Dear friends, let us begin our discussion with two multiple choice questions. Look at this. Which peptide in the following peptides will be hydrolyzed by trypsin? In the options, they have given the sequence of four tripeptides. First of all, can you tell me how many peptide bonds are there in a tripeptide? If you say three, no. Look at this, how many peptide bonds are there? There are just two peptide bonds. There is one peptide bond in a dipeptide, two peptide bonds in a tripeptide. Right? The word di, tri indicates the number of amino acid residues, not the number of peptide bond. Alright? If you know the answer for this question, it's well and good. If you don't know, don't worry, we will discuss. Look at the second question. A peptide with this sequence was digested by chymotrypsin. So, initially, in the first question, it was trypsin. In the second question, it is chymotrypsin to produce which of the following. If you know the answer for this question, I will be very happy. I am glad that you know. If you don't know, don't worry. I will assure you that after watching this video, you will be able to answer the question. Right? Just stick with me for 5 minutes. In 5 minutes, I will explain the concept clearly. So, in the question, there is trypsin, chymotrypsin. So there is one more enzyme that is called elastase. So, trypsin, chymotrypsin and elastase. What are these three enzymes? These three enzymes are digestive enzymes. They are going to act on proteins. So, they are proteases. What else is common? These are serine proteases. These enzymes are endo peptidases. There are exopeptidases. Exopeptidases act on either amino terminal or carboxy terminal. That is why exopeptidases can be classified into amino peptidase and carboxy peptidase. Endopeptidases will cleave the internal peptide bonds. Do you remember? Even in nucleases, we have endonucleus, exonucleus. Remember, this is something similar to that. There are so many serine proteases like thrombin, prostate specific antigen, the tumor marker, that is also a serine protease. And there are many in bacterial world, many serine proteases are there. In this discussion, we will limit only to the three digestive enzymes from pancreas, chymotrypsin, trypsin and elastase. Why are they known as serine proteases? Do they act on serine? No, not because of that. Then why? Because of presence of an important serine residue in the catalytic site of all these serine proteases. So, these three enzymes are homologous. They are homologous enzymes. Their amino acid sequence is somewhat similar. Their tertiary structure is more similar. In the catalytic site, there are three amino acid, aspartate, histidine and serine. Serine initiates nucleophilic attack during the catalysis and there is charge relay through these amino acids and finally there is acid base catalysis also. So, serine starts the covalent catalysis and histidine and aspartate they facilitate the acid base catalysis. There is no need to go too much deep into the mechanism of 
serine proteases what we have to know is that because of the presence of an important serine residue serine proteases are called serine proteases right now how to answer those questions for that you have to remember this fact active site is made up of binding sites as well as catalytic site what we have seen is the catalytic site there is something called binding site also binding site is the site of substrate binding and coenzyme binding in certain enzymes okay so active site is equal to binding site plus catalytic site so what we have seen there is something called catalytic triad that is present in the active site look at this there are three amino acids so tri means three so that is why this is called catalytic triad we have been discussed the binding site discussion of binding site is going to help in solving those mcqs let us discuss the binding site of chymotrypsin chymotrypsin binding site is wide so bulky r group containing amino acids like phenylalanine and tyrosine can easily fit into this pocket substrate binding pocket so chymotrypsin will cleave after that is carboxyl side okay it cleaves after phenylalanine and tyrosine so the specificity of chymotrypsin is determined by the substrate binding pocket which is wide enough to allow bulky r groups all right what about trypsin the substrate binding pocket of trypsin is lined with a negatively charged aspartate residues so during the catalysis when the substrate binds positively charged amino acids like arginine and lysine can bind with the substrate binding pocket okay so trypsin will cleave carboxyl side of positively charged amino acid like arginine or lysine remember what about the third enzyme elastase look at this in chymotrypsin the substrate binding pocket was wide but here it is shallow why because of presence of valine residues valine is a branched chain amino acid valine residues close of the mouth of the pocket they are kind of sealing so there is overcrowding here so very small amino acids only can enter small r group containing amino acids like alanine only can enter the substrate binding pocket so elastase will cleave after alanine it will cleave the peptide bond after alanine clear so now you know chymotrypsin because of this wide mouth of substrate binding pocket this is going to cleave after phenylalanine or tyrosine trypsin because of presence of this aspartate it will cleave after lysine or arginine elastase because of this shallow substrate binding pocket it will cleave after alanine right so remember all these three enzymes they have the same catalytic triad okay so they are proteases but their substrate specificity is determined because of the difference in the substrate binding pocket now you will be able to answer this question very easily now try to answer which one will be hydrolyzed by trypsin so trypsin will act on lysine and arginine see there is arginine here 
but trypsin will act after arginine so not this one there is no arginine or his uh, or lysine here so no so what is the answer the answer is here so this will cleave into pro arg and methionine so that will be the product what about the second question so this is about chymotrypsin chymotrypsin will cleave after phenylalanine and tyrosine look at the sequence so there is one phenylalanine here there is one tyrosine here right so it will cleave into three fragments so this one this one and methionine will be separate right i hope i have tried my best to explain the concept of substrate specificity of serine proteases if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comment section please share this video with your friends